Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to today's video. And in today's video, we are building a table for my male guinea pigs to go on. And it's going under my loft bed and I am super excited. Here's my dad building it. Um, we basically just took a bunch of our scrap wood that we had, cut some in half, and then we um, did some measurements and screwed it all together. And now we have our table. And this is us struggling to put it in my room. Hey guys, so I just finished setting up down there, kind of. I'm gonna add the stuff now, and then I forgot about the top part. And I have to leave in 10 minutes um, for somewhere that I'm not gonna show you to you guys. <laughs> and I don't have the top done at all for the boys, but I do for the girls, for the bottom. And my room is a mess. This is the situation right now. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So this is the girl setup right now. It's really boring and plan, plain, but I have to leave like right now. So this is all I can do for right now. And then I, when I get back, I'll work on the boys cage. So I am back home and um, I am about to build the boy guinea pig enclosure. Okay, so I have a bunch of these groups. And then I have like a thousand more of these. But these were the ones that they were that they were that the boys were originally in when they were upstairs, not in my room. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me building. Mm -hmm. setting this up um i try getting the connectors in all the way but this is it it's a two feet by six feet enclosure for my two boys and i'm just gonna go ahead and set it up so i'm just going to be spraying down a lot of my grids just to get rid of the smell with some water and vinegar sorry for the bad lighting but um i made some name tags for my guinea pigs. I just made one so far for Snicker. Um, I tried painting him, didn't turn out so well, but I made this and I thought it turned out super cute, except for the painting is a little wonky. But I'm just gonna hang it up on the enclosure and then I am going to make more soon. Okay, so I have this blue guinea dad liner. Um, it's actually flipped inside out. I have to flip it back. So, um, this actually fits everything perfectly. And I like that I don't have to put towels under this because it's already so thick and um, already has a bunch of um, padding. So it's nice about it. And now I'm just gonna put something with their scent on it in here. Um, I'm just putting this, uh, fiber, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, I'm just putting this in, and then I'm just gonna add this other one, it's kind of wet, but I don't have any other ones right now, and I feel like they should have their scent on a couple of things in here, just because it is a completely new area and cage setup. Okay, so this is the final cage. Um, this is their litter box and then everything else. It doesn't look super full right now because it's not. And I need to get some more toys off Amazon, which I'm going to do probably tonight because I need them ASAP. And um, I have a ton of like my fleece hides in the wash right now because, uh, yeah. And they have one, two, three, four hides, and there's only two males in here, so yeah. And then in here, there is a castle and another hide. So that's basically three, because there's one square and then two squares, and then there's that. And then their hay, they, I just f filled it up with hay, but I guess they like demolished it. And then their water, which I'm about to fill up, and then 
I need some more toys to put in here because obviously I just I just do. <laughs> and then current situation, not my favorite. up most of their cage so that was the it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you next time